There, so once you have your 60 stitches on your needle here, you wanna make sure you can slide them. See how I can slide that pretty easily back and forth? If it's really, really tight, you're just gonna be fighting with your knitting. So they don't need to be loose and floppy, but see how they're just snug to the needle and they slide nice and easily, and especially over where the cord joins to your needle. It slides really easily. And that's the ideal for doing this. So now we wanna create our magic loop. So you're going to count down to 30 so that half of our stitches will be on one side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So see where I come to 30? I am going to pull, it's a little bit fiddly, the cord up. Now when you do this, be careful that you don't slide them all off your needle. I've got my hand on the needle there. And I'm gonna slide the cord up between the 30th and the 31st stitch until my other needle comes down to the 30 stitches on the far side. And then the first 30 stitches are up here on this needle. So you've got it nice and neat, just like that. And then we want to turn all of our stitches to the inside of those two needles. That way we know there's no twist in them. So I'm just going to carefully bring them around. Move that over so it's not in the way. So see there, they're all facing the inside towards each other. And there's no twist in the end here. They just wrap around nicely. That is what we want. And what we're going to do is start our knitting, but we want to secure. See how these are open right now, and it's going to be a little bit floppy. So what I want to do is, whoop, I'm just going to turn that all around again. There we go. I want to tie our tail to the working yarn, just so that it isn't sloppy for that first round. It'll make your life a little bit easier. I'm just tying a knot. It won't stay very tight, likely, but it'll at least it'll help when you get started. There we go. So now what I want to do is begin doing the ribbing for the cuff of the sock. So to do the magic loop, if you don't have experience with it already, we basically need to create our setup where we have a left needle and a right needle. So right now, the stitches we want to do are on this top needle, but our needle that we want to knit with is still down here. So what we want to do is carefully pull that through and see now the cord is holding all of those stitches and we just want to leave them there. We're going to ignore the back ones and we're just going to knit the front ones. So we're going to come along here, go in, we're going to do a knit to purl to make sure your yarn is on the back side of that. A knit to purl to for that first stitch, give it a good tight pull to cinch it closed. So knit to yarn to the front, purl to. And we're going to do the ribbing all the way around with knit to purl to. I'll do the first round here with you. Pearl. It's crucial that you really pay attention for this first round because this is what will set your ribbing. It's easy to lose track of what you're doing. Pearl. Pearl. Yarn to the back. Knit. Knit, turn to the front, purl, purl, and I'm just ignoring those stitches on the back. They just stay on the cord there while you're knitting across the front 30. Purl, knit, knit. Pearl. 
almost there. Knit, knit. And thank goodness we're ending properly. We want to end this side on a knit, knit. So knit, knit. There, and now we're out of stitches and our left needle doesn't have any stitches. And all of the ones we just did are on the right needle. So what we wanna do is rotate this. So just do this really slowly and follow each step and you'll get the magic loop. It's very handy. So we rotated it. We want to knit these stitches now because they haven't been done. So we're gonna slide the cord down here so that we're bringing our needle back down to the stitches that haven't been done. And now it's in the position here at the front to be worked on. And again, because we're still starting here, I wanna make sure there's no twists in it. I'm making sure all of my stitches are to the inside. And now I have my left needle lined up with my new stitches to work on. I'm gonna take that back needle and slide it through so that all of the stitches we just did are on the cord and bring my right needle around. And now I can begin. Now I ended on a knit knit. So for ribbing, I want to go to a pearl pearl. So I'm going to put the needle in the back here, pearl. Pearl, knit, knit, yarn at the front, pearl, pearl, knit, knit. sliding my needle. See how if you cast on reasonably loosely, you're not fighting with your needles. You're not fighting with pulling the stitches up. And I know a lot of people are tight knitters. It can be a bit of a challenge to loosen it up a little bit. Knit. Getting there. Pearl, pearl, knit, knit, and we want to end on a pearl, pearl, and there's pearl, and pearl. There, we've done our first round. So again, we're going to rotate this around. So we want, we just finished the ones that are currently on that needle. And we want to do these ones again. So we're going to slide. See, I'm hanging on to the stitches so I don't pull the needle right out. Slide the cord down so that your needle comes around so it's in the stitches that you wish to knit next. And I line them all up again. I want to put all my stitches. I turn them to the middle so I can see where they are. Bring that down. And again, so there, these are the stitches I want to knit. And they're all lined up on the needle. And then I need my other needle. So I'm going to hang on to my knitting here and slide that one out. Bring it around. Now for the second round, what I like to do, now that we've got a row done, see how there's a little bit of a gap here, that that knot doesn't usually hold very tight, but we don't want there to be a gap there in the top of our sock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the first row that I did when I cast on, and I'm picking up a loop on my right needle. I'm going to plop it 
onto my left needle. And that will cinch that close together. I'm going to knit that one that I just put on there with the first stitch. So I don't want to gain a stitch, so I'm knitting them together. There. And that should tighten it up, give that a good pull. And then I'm going to start my ribbing again, so that second knit. And then purl, purl to the back. And we're going to keep doing this. You can mark on a piece of paper until you've got about 12 to 15 rounds. 15 is a nice deep cuff that's usually about here. Um, so continue doing this. You can rewind the video and play it back if you need to see a few more repeats of how to get that magic loop going. Um, and continue this and then you'll have your cuff and then we will carry on once you have the 15 rows. You're just going to knit in the round after that. So once you have your cuff all done, you're going to knit in the round and you're just going to continue to knit down and you can do six to eight inches for the leg. And you're just gonna continue with that magic loop. You don't have to knit and purl anymore. It's just straight knitting all the way down. And then look for the next video and that will be how we turn the heel. And we're going to do a nice little short row heel on the sock, just like that. So that will be the next one. So happy knitting, and I will see you at the heel.